Good morning, Scorpio. I hope all is well. I'm just waking up with you today, so I wanted to go ahead and get a message out. Maybe I'll have time to get a couple or the energy to get a couple. Towards the end of my chemo cycle, excuse me, I get more drained. Oh, two more days. Two more days and I'm coming back alive, babies. <laughs> I did work, wake up at 3.33 this morning and then woke back up at six. So I was like, okay, we're getting up early today. Okay. What's the message spirit? But the first message was 333 is always a beautiful message to me. It's, it's a sign that, you know, if you've been worried, you know, for me, you know, whatever, it's, it's divine protection, right? It's spirit letting you know, like, Hey, I'm here. You know, if you're going through something right now, um, 333 is divine protection to me. It's it's the Holy Trinity. It's, you know, um, so whatever's going on right now, Scorpio, know that there is protection, um, angelic energy around you. And like, that's a message, you know, to me of like, hey, we're just letting you know we're here. You know, we're here. So there could be some things that might be either going on currently or you could be experiencing in the near future that that when that shows up for me it's almost kind of like get ready you know it's like I'm here baby whatever you're about to whatever is about to come your way I'm here right so let's get into it and see what's going on um and if it's just not that it's just like it's just you know angels guide saying look we're here we love you right you're protected um some of you, it's like whatever you're making, manifesting, creating is protected. Because I just picked up that deck and looked at the bottom of it and it was the magician. All right, so let's get into it. And it has to do with a family situation. I pray for my family and give this situation over, God, over to God for answers, um, support, and healing. Okay, so let's see what's going on, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. There's a lot of little babies here, children. Angels around, see all the angels? Little cherubs around this family energy. So I feel like for some of you, it could have to do with a family situation. All right, let's see. Just do we have for Scorpio spirit guides, angels, ancestors? Please provide us any information you would like Scorpio to receive. Also, protect us with your white light of protection, fifth tarot, Archangel Michael. Please block any negative being sent our way, send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. Amen. Do what you will with that energy, take care of it, fight our battles. Amen. Amen. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? There could be somebody I'm trying, like the energy that I was getting to for some of you and why I'm bringing this up before, it's like somebody could be trying to, um, if you're trying to manifest things right now, somebody's really clever. Somebody could be trying to like tear down your energy, put you in a lower vibration um, and just smile and see it for what it is, right? Like uh, have that bird's eye view in regards to whatever this situation might be, as hard as it might be, because I know you're an emotional Scorpio, probably, because a lot of us are, you know? We're big softies, we got, a lot, we got a lot of emotion going on with us, right? And so it's like, don't let, don't allow this, I wanna say evil, ASS to do that to you, right? Whoever this is, this energy, it's like, don't allow this person to lower your vibration. Just, just don't. All right. Um, yeah, here's patience, right? So it's, it could be like one, two, three, you know, spirit, take care of me, whatever you gotta say, right? <laughs> oh, that's a new one. I like it, you know, or, you know, I always say, I start praying immediately, you know, or, you know, um, you know, please protect me with your angels, uh, 
God, pl please protect me. You know what I mean? Like as soon as, and it says I trust in divine timing. So this is a situation that will be playing out. Have patience here with family, whatever this energy is, it will be playing out. Um, and I feel like you're going to, it's, it's like spirit saying like pray, um, meditate, you know, when you're putting this energy out there, it's, you know, um, spirit provide me with, thank you for providing me with the, whatever it is that I need. Right. Um, that's the way I like to pray. Right. Um, thank you for my health. Thank you for my wealth. Thank you for my, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for your family here, I feel like is protected. Um, my true father, God in heaven, who shines healing light upon me, my birth father and our relationship. Now for some of you, which, what's interesting is, you know, um, I've been communicating or just, you know, even like talking to my past on father sometimes with prayer. So I, I find that it's kind of interesting that it's coming out here. So some of you might have a past on father Hmm, that might have to do with like waking you make waking me up at this morning at 3:33. Um that is actually looking out for you in this situation or is is by you near you. Some of you could maybe even like pick up sense like or you know just sense this person's energy around you but certain smells um and it could be yeah this person's trying to show you love and compassion right now in a situation and time and trying to tell you to be strong wow and trust and know that god um is answering your prayers right now i love it scorpio I knew we were going to start off with a spiritual message here. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? <sighs> I'm going to cry. Don't do this to me already in the morning. <laughs> I'm just waking up. I bring a message from your deceased loved one. I'm happy and at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So this is also an energy I feel like when they passed on, possibly you did worry quite a bit about or you worry or you know, whatever, but there is, there is a loved one, and this is a feminine energy, feminine energy, so for some of you, it could be a feminine energy, for others of you, it's a masculine, but you do have a passed on loved one that is letting you know, it's like tapping you on the shoulder, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like it's like they're proud of you, they're telling you to be strong, I'm gonna cry, oh, y'all, I'm, I'm so sensitive, they're telling you to be strong and they're proud of you and they're right there with you like they were in life all right what other message do we have for scorpio <laughs> you are protected from all types of harm the worst is now behind you i ask you to relax and feel safe so for some of you if you're letting like anxiety creep creep up on you in regards to a situation this is spirit saying you know, and this is your angels, you're, you know, letting you know. And these are two very important decks and special decks to me. Um, I got them. They were my first Oracle decks um, through a very challenging time in my life that was very scary. And um, towards like me freeing myself from some of the stuff that was going on, you know, this was... Um, one of the first cards I pulled in this deck and it gave me so much comfort, right? And so I feel like if you're seeing this right now, it's spirit wanting to give you so much comfort. That's what that 333 is. It's all about spirit giving you comfort. Like I'm here, I'm here. And they may even be like wanting you to acknowledge them. Like maybe if you, uh, you know, maybe set up an ancestor altar and communicate, whatever it is, right? Um, all right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Honor yourself. Love yourself, honor yourself. And I feel like this is what this is, be strong. It's like your, your past on loved one is saying, honor yourself, be strong. You know, you're a fighter, whoever you are. I mean, obviously if you're Scorpio, shit. <laughs> We all know, right? Be still and listen to the spirits phenomenon. Spirit has messages for you right now. 
especially with the message of me being woken up at 333, whatever challenges, be strong, honor yourself, be still and listen to the messages because you will be receiving them. Whether it's in nature, whether it's in synchronicities with songs, whether you find a coin on the ground, whatever it is, a date, something, uh, numbers, synchronicities, you know, spirit's going to be communicating a lot right now with, with this energy. Um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Mm, romance and intense connection. Okay. Coming up. And then we have a sacral chakra cleanse. So some of you really need to do a sacral chakra cleanse. Use me from past energy. If we're sacral and we're coming from past effed up relationships or dealing with people that are dealing with more than one person and stuff like that and you know how energies can be interchangeable there needs to be a sacral chakra cleanse here now you do have an intense connection or romance coming your way let's get a, a quick few messages with these cards And I love you guys. Thank you to anybody that has donated. I forgot to say that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always want to say that at the beginning of the reading, but I am just waking up. And I feel like towards the end of my chemo cycles, my chemo brain is horrible. Um, thank you to anybody that's donated. If you'd like to donate, I do have a um, link in the description box below. Uh, I have been out of work since May. I'm just recently starting to go... Um, try to um get back into the swing of things working a couple days i'm getting into that and so um it's going to be a slow process getting back into right um but i am making the attempt um it's so anyway we're we're getting there um i just want to say thank you to anybody that has you guys are just truly amazing beautiful people and this i wouldn't have been able to make it through what i'm going through without it without the support and the love that i've been shown and i'm truly truly grateful so that's there just if anybody can um anyway i am doing a couple personals here and there that information also go fund me the, with the GoFundMe link, my uh, Venmo and Cash App is also in the description box below um, and my email address. So let's go ahead and get into it. Someone will do anything for money here. Um, so there's an energy here. Sometimes this person is like full of shit. I'm sorry. But somebody could be like saying, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And they're just like doing whatever. They're just, there's somebody here also that would do anything for money, right? So we've got a shady character here. And somebody's also drinking to cope right now with some situations or thing going on, things going on in life. Somebody could be hiding drinking, hiding their drinking. Somebody's got some kind of like entrapment, obsessive energy uh, by any means. So be careful. This is why the 333 is coming out. You could be even giving this person like a side eye, like I'm unsure about you. And you're right. Whoever this is, Scorpio, has a lot of shadow work to do. Um, it's coming out for a reason, right? So let's... Go ahead and get into the tarot and see what's going on, guys. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio and rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. I'm going to try to do a quick love message this morning, too, because this isn't really centered around love. I think this is more centered around just life, things that are going on. Um... 
you could even be like, you know, you've, you've done your inner work, right? And you're seeing somebody who has not, right? Or you're dealing with, some of you I'm feeling like tyrant energy, somebody who is it's it's just like almost impossible maybe that's why your guides and ancestors are like all right i'm here be strong be strong be strong right just hold on be strong somebody is being fake nice or has been fake nice in a situation maybe that's why you gave them the side eye because it was their trap or there's something here connected to somebody's energy that's like Spirit is saying stay unsure. You know what I mean? Don't let this person like get you in a web of like uh somebody tries to manipulate situations. Uh I feel like the energy that I'm getting here with kindness when it's when when it and when it's going to do something work out in their favor do something good for them right so with the nine of pentacles here i feel like financial stability is coming your way if you've been worried about financial stability or this is just you like in your own um energy uh, you know enjoying the fruits of your labor you know this is you being independent um being comfortable financial stability showing up in your life you know and maybe there's somebody that feels threatened by this you know again we deal with baby mama baby daddy drama a lot of us sometimes and it's like when when your life starts to get better and the other person's is going to shit or the other person is just not happy and they see you in this energy it's just kind of like world war three right like hell no they are not allowed to be happy right and seven of swords um Somebody tried to get away with something here. What is the Seven of Swords energy for Scorpio? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Seven of Pentacles. They put in a lot of work. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could have been to affect you. Here's the Emperor. I'm telling you there's a tyrant. Sometimes the Emperor to me can come out as somebody who's like, you know, likes to use their authority, abuse their power, um, controlling energy. So somebody's been dealing with some kind of an energy here that was very controlling, but it was like, there was a lot of lies, deception, trickery, fraud, somebody trying to get away with something. They, they, they invested a lot in whatever this is, but with the seven of cups here, um, you're in alignment right right now with like your spiritual journey um with yourself um there could be a lot of like confusion this person could be caught trying to cause you a lot of confusion delusion anyway it's like okay you're in this energy of a higher vibration and somebody can't stand it basically right so you've got this energy of somebody really trying to attack you attack your personal values attack your life attack your financial stability because this person is like so angry that you've taken the time to do the work on yourself okay oh. Ace of Pentacles, abundance, you've got a new career that you've manifested or maybe a new venture opportunity that's going to bring a lot of prosperity. Maybe this is why Spirit is showing up saying stay strong, you know, don't give up now because this is coming. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, but we've also got the Ace of Pentacles, which is like the big one, right? Um, this is a divine blessing that you deserve, Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of you have been really worried. It's, here's that fear, worry. You know, this person might have even caught, been a, if it's an ex, it could have been like abusive, right? Because we've got, this can, this can be like trauma, like PTSD energy. Somebody likes to inflict like fear uh, to control, worry, fear, depression, anxiety. You know, this person plays or feeds on this energy. Um... And then we've got the Hierophant here. It's like you have gained this wisdom, 
right? Spirit has given you this wisdom and you understand, you have the tools here. It's like you have all the tools here. You know how it's just taking the emotion out of the situation, whoever this is, is the hardest part for you and will be, you know, right now in this situation, that's the hardest part is like taking the emotion out, not allowing somebody to tear you down. You know, this is a human being that thrives on tearing other people down is what I'm picking up, right? So it's like a narcissist, whatever you want to call it, but somebody it's like, they, they, that's how, if they aren't tearing somebody down, they aren't happy, they're miserable, right? And they can't stand the fact that either one, you're alive, number two, you're doing well, number three, you know, you've got blessings coming in because you're doing the work, right? It makes this person feel sick for whatever reason, it's sad. It's just like, go off and do the work yourself. You know, but this person I feel like is drinking and they can't stop. Or it's either a dry drunk. There's something here about alcohol or alcoholism here showing up in this energy um, that has really affected this person's mental state and they're stuck in a cycle that is has nothing to do with you. And Again, spirit really wants you to take, you have the wisdom, you have the knowledge, you know how to raise your vibration, you know how to take yourself, okay, out of this fear, out of this hopelessness energy, out of this worry, out of this depression. Maybe this person is very envious because they don't have the ability to do this. They're stuck in this cycle. Um, what other messages do we have? Wow, the moon card just shut out. Um, yeah. It's like, trust your intuition here, right? Somebody is, there's this energy and maybe you've even been getting like premonitions about something here again, or again, ancestors trying to connect with you. Um, that fear and anxiety energy, you know, it's like somebody wants to shit on your whole day, right? You get a message first thing in the morning about, you know, if it has to do with children, it's, it's like, I don't know. I shouldn't use my own ex situation as an example, but oftentimes I have to either block or tune it out because it just is that rude. It's that rude and awful. And it's about what I did 10 years ago that ruined that everything would be fine if I hadn't been a lying, cheating whore or something crazy that I never was, right? I was tired of being abused, um, right? So some of you could be like, it's, it's this energy, right? Somebody trying to use like, fear tactics, things, tactics to make you feel like you're scared or causing anxiety in your life or, you know, things like that. You've been getting some type of premonition here in regards to, let's clarify, what is this moon energy? What's being revealed to you? The Knight of Wands. Oh, wow. Um, Scorpio. This person's taken some type of action here. It could be um, somebody who's been drinking a lot, having, we've had the risky sex stuff coming up a lot, but this is the player. There could be some type of illness here connected to um, sexual promiscuity. This person could be hiding and is really angry about, and somehow it's coming out like towards you. Maybe they feel like angry at, that because things didn't work out with you, they ended up in in this somehow. And how is that your fault? I don't know. It's not, right? But it's like spirit is trying to show you something. There's some kind of illness going on. And it could even be mental illness. Um, what other messages are we, can you show me spirit in regards to this message? seven of cups. That's the first card I pulled before I started the reading. So spirit wants you to know that you do have options in this situation, right? Um, to create your own happiness, right? And sometimes it's just this perception shift. It's just a perception shift, you know, um, Nobody can take your happiness from you. Remember that, okay? That's the biggest message of this reading. I'm going to leave it there so we can do a love reading and check into that energy for you guys because this is so intense too. 
I love you. Whoever needs to get this message, I feel like you're a single parent because here is the Queen of Pentacles, the ultimate working parent, the moon card, things being revealed, and somebody fighting for the life that they, exactly. It's like, with the Knight of Swords, you could be being watched heavily too, but this is the energy of a little white candle for my ancestors and I just, they're here. It just popped. I heard it. I don't know if you could hear that crackle. Um, that's who's watching. <laughs> Especially if this is you. Your loving, nurturing energy. And they're saying it's time to take control. Somebody tried to, to steal something, get away with something. And it left you in a five of pentacles energy. Ace of wands energy. There was some type of sexual energy behind this that you felt it could have been a sexual partner. Okay. But again, protect your energy with a seven of wands, divine protection. You can create your own happiness. You know, whatever this is, it's, it's spirit saying you have options. You're going to be happy. Um, what is this four of swords? Somebody is being put like in a position where they're actually going to, it could even be like, um, some kind of illness where they can't even work or effect, it affects them to where they can't even work. And here's the six of wands. So I don't know if, yeah, it's like some kind of betrayal ending here of a situation. You moving forward success with a new beginning here. All right. So again, it, it don't, the, don't feed into the drama. Biggest thing right now, whatever's going on here, don't feed into the drama, Scorpio. Um, I feel like a lot of you, if you are alone right now, you could feel, you know, okay alone, right? But there's, see, in this deck, he looks so unsure, and I've said it a couple times. I'm starting to get hot, too. Um, You've got a new beginning coming your way, Scorpio. Um, a fresh start. Uh, I feel like it's going to feel really good. It could be a new career opportunity because we do have success here. Uh, seven, ten, and six could be important here too because those are the numbers on these cards and zero. But I feel more like seven, ten, six could be important numbers in regards to something here. Dates or... months right something of significance here all right guys i'm gonna leave it there i love you i hope this message was helpful for someone until next time bye